Welcome to the No Podcast with me, Nikki Spo. Welcome back, my truth speakers. I love you all so much, and I'm so grateful to share space and speak my truth with you every single week. I hope that you feel empowered to speak your truth too, even if it's just to yourself. Baby steps here. So recently, I've been thinking a lot about influencing. I kind of struggle with the word. I don't really identify as an influencer, but I do hope to be a person of influence, right? Okay, so lucky for me, Ocean Drive Magazine actually called me that this April, one of Miami's six women of influence, and it was a huge honor for me. Now, that said, I think a lot about what that means to me and what I want it to mean. A couple years ago, it was during the NBA bubble, right in the height of COVID, when I was in my early months of new motherhood with my second child, and also in the early months of my sobriety. I was trying new things and experimenting using my voice in ways that were a little adventurous for me, voicing my opinions about products, healing, experiences, thought processes, humanity, parenthood, and beyond. And I remember a woman whom I admire asking me in a sort of condescending way, what exactly is it that you're trying to do? Become an influencer? Okay, so my instinct was disgust at the word influencer. It sounded, especially like the way she said it, like a really bad thing. And I'm curious, you, like you right now listening to this, when you hear the word influencer, like what is your reaction to that? I know that for me, most of the time, I kind of roll my eyes like, oh yeah, just another influencer in Miami or whatever. So because of this weird response I have to the quote idea of the common day influencer, I started to play myself down like, no, no, not me. No way. No, I'm not that as if somehow I was better than being an influencer or that being an influencer was just like not a good thing. And here's my thing. I am a very passionate woman with very specific opinions and lots of ideas about lots of different things. I love to share with other people. I love to share with other women and moms. I love to see all of us winning. So if I have a tip or a trick that makes me, makes my life better, whether that's a physical item, an emotional wellness practice, or something for my kid that improves my life in some capacity, I want to share the wealth of knowledge. And I feel most passionate about healing work and encouraging people to do whatever it takes to step into their deepest inner knowing so that they can live happy, joyous, and free. So I'm not saying I'm the expert on these things by any stretch of the imagination, but I do want to call into question the role of influence in our lives as a whole. Okay. Which brings me to today's episode title. It's that question, who is influencing you? Personally, I would love to say that I am primarily primarily influenced by the God of my understanding. Okay. Like I have found a spirituality that brings me peace and joy and hope in so many ways. Um, I would love to consider myself someone who follows God's example of love and generosity, humility, faith, and compassion all the time. And to some extent, I, I do indeed try to demonstrate those qualities in my life. But on the day-to-day, -day, honestly, no. Right now, I have to admit that God is not the number one influencer in my life. And I think that awareness is really important to me because I can now bring that level of spirituality to the forefront, right? Like I think in my heart of hearts, that's how I want to lead my life, right? But then the day and the mundane tasks of everyday life, like get in the way of that. But because of my work, I do tend a significant amount of time on social media, which I want to be clear is not limited to like Instagram and TikTok and what, you know, we all consider to be like social media today in the grand scheme of things. Uh, in addition to those platforms, I engage regularly in listening to other podcasts and books and I engage with other people, right? In the world. So right now I want to talk about like who I'm being personally, like significantly influenced by. I am being influenced by the following humans in no like direct order, no like hierarchy or whatever, but here they go. Brene Brown, 
Kathy Heller, Dr. Nicole LaPera, Bethany Webster, Sloan Spanierman, Jamie Ruiz, Cornelius Lunsky, Marilyn Sanchez, co-star astrology, you know, like the app, <laughs> um, Shafali Sabari, Aaron Morrison, um, Oprah, yeah, Ed Milet, Seth Godin, Gary Vaynerchuk, Young Pueblo, Kim K, yes, uh, yes, I am, I'm not going to lie about it. Jenna Kutcher, Lovey Ajayi Jones, and Clarissa Pinkola Estes, and of course, Dr. Bill and Bob, if you know, you know. This list contains some global thought leaders, doctors, healers, manifestors, regular badass women, poets, writers, entrepreneurs, parents, and the stars, like literally astrology. <laughs> I probably have a couple of beauty and fashion influencers to add to that list, but some of them I don't even remember the names of. I just know that I really like them and they influence my style choices. Um, I also have some crappy influencers on my list who I don't see fit to name. Why? Because when I'm really honest, I know that I am so impressionable and I know that I can be negatively influenced, right? like we all can, by gossip, negativity, superficiality, lust, greed, all of those things. I am a person. I am not immune, which is why it's so important for us to be intentional. So if you had to make an actual list of the people or things who have the most influence over you, who or what would be on it? That's the question today. Who is influencing you? I really want you to, to think about that. And I will wrap up with this. Being influenced is not just for social media. It's not reserved for scrolling or double tapping. Without realizing it, the people we are often most influenced by are the people in our daily lives. Our parents, friends, partners, spouse, children, other parents at school, teachers, coaches, therapists. This is why it's extremely important to be intentional about who has access to you and whom you give your attention to. Because who you hang around, you become. Sorry, not sorry, it is true. The conversations that you have on the regular about yourself, about other people, about ideas, thoughts, dreams, desires, goals, reality, whatever, these are the things that define you. I will say this, I do not believe any person has it all. And I have a saying that I, I try to live by, I can have anything, but I can't have everything. I know that's, that's a hard pill to swallow for like all the, like the manis, the manifestors out there that are like, we can have it all. Yes. What I mean by that, at least for me is I sure as heck can have quote it all, but I know that I may not be able to have it all, all at once. There are ebbs and flows to life. Life is seasonal. I don't even know that I want to have it all, all at once. <laughs> like the idea of that overwhelms me. I try not to deify the influencers in my life. I know that at the end of the day, they are just people too. And even like the, the powerful thought leaders like that are giving me such great feedback and like, and doctors and psychologists that, that I really admire. Like at the end of the day, I know that they're likely not perfect human beings either because they're just people like me and you. And I believe that curating and revising your influencer list is extremely important. I also believe it is important to be the type of influencer you truly want to be. The reality is that we all have some influence over someone else's life, whether that's on a small scale or on an enormous global stage, we are all influencing in some capacity. Look at us, even parents, right? We think about it in that scope. Like we are influencing our children. If anything, I simply want today's message to be thought provoking. All right. As a homework assignment for self reflection, go ahead and write down your personal top five influencers in life, as in who has the most influence on your actual life, right? And the top five people that you influence in yours. All right, guys, that's all for today. Thanks for tuning in. Never stop paying attention. Be aware of your consumption on all levels. What you surround yourself with, you become. Over and out, truth speakers. Until next time, XOXO. Thank you so much for listening to The Know. 
If you loved this episode, go ahead and share it with a friend. Words are so powerful and someone may need to hear what we covered today. And if you really loved this episode, please take a moment to rate the show and leave a review. Your comments are so important and valued and they give other listeners insight on what to expect on The Know. You can connect with me personally via Instagram at Nikki Sap Spo and The Know with Nikki Spo. My hope for you today is that you are fearless in looking inward so that you can be your highest, most authentic self and go after the life of your dreams. Thank you.